Sex is an unavoidable fact of life. It's what it took for you to get here right now, and it's one of the main drivers in relationships. So, it's easier to think you know all there is about it. But the reality is, sex is far more complex than you can imagine. To show you just how strange it can be, here are some psychological facts about sex that might surprise you. 1. Post-sex sadness is a real thing. Now, if you've ever cried after sex and thought you were strange, don't. It can actually be a very common occurrence, and there's even an official name for the response, postcoital dysphoria, PCD. PCD is characterized by intense feelings of sadness, anger, and even distress after orgasm. There still isn't a great deal known about the condition, but it's believed by certified sex therapist Ian Kerner that it's possibly linked to a surge in hormones, which could stem from past trauma from a prior sexual assault in some cases. 2. A strong sense of smell can make you more orgasmic. A study published in the Archives of Sexual Behavior found that people with a more perceptive sense of smell had better sexual experiences. Women who had a better sense of smell reported having more enjoyable orgasms than those whose noses weren't as sharp. However, the study found that this wasn't actually linked to sexual desire or performance in the bedroom. This suggests that the heightened state of pleasure is triggered by body odors, like vaginal fluid and sweat, that those people can smell more easily. 3. Sex increases your immunity to pain. Aside from the obvious physical pleasure, sex can actually be an aid in pain relief during states of arousal and orgasm. The hypothalamus in the brain releases the feel-good hormone oxytocin. Researchers at Rutgers University in New Jersey found that this surge of oxytocin can help reduce pain felt in women, especially during menstruation. A further study published in the Bulletin of Experimental Biology and Medicine found that oxytocin in men can cut the perception of pain in half. Studies have found that you tend to last longer in bed and you'll have more satisfying orgasms. 4. Having sex can help trigger your creativity. The act of sex itself is already a creative act intended to birth new life. Even when you're not trying to conceive, you're still creating a bond and experience with your partner. But there's an added psychological effect that can help you in your creative pursuits, whether it's art, design, music, writing, or even just creative thinking. And it's that same chemical again, oxytocin. Although it's intended to make you feel closer to your partner, it's also able to create cognitive flexible pathways in the brain, which can foster creative thinking and improve problem solving. 5. Orgasms, use it or lose it. Now, this one might scare you, if you've not been sexually active for an extended period, and it is rare, however, it's also possible that you may lose your sexual sensation if you go for long periods without sex. If you're a woman, there's a condition called clitoral atrophy, which occurs when the clitoris doesn't receive enough blood flow, causing it to retract into the body. There is also the possibility of penile atrophy, but this usually has less to do with the lack of sex and more to do with aging or injury. 6. Want an orgasm? Leave your socks on. If you've ever bought your partner lingerie or like to play dress up, you might want to reconsider whether it's actually the best thing. Research done at the University of Grand suggests that if you want to increase your chances of having an orgasm, you might just want to keep your socks on during sex. Their theory is that in order to have an orgasm, you need to be totally relaxed and anxiety-free, and cold feet could interfere with the ability to really get into the moment, according to psychologist and author Fran Walfish, PhD. 7. The egg chooses the winning sperm. Men like to believe that it's the fastest sperm that wins the race, but this so-called sex fact is a massive misconception. According to sexologist Jill McDevitt, she goes on to say that the narrative is biased with our cultural lens about men being competitive, seen in violent words like drilling, burrowing, and penetrating the egg, while the egg sits around passively. She then further expands by saying that in reality, eggs have sophisticated biological mechanisms that actively choose which sperm they allow in, and it isn't always the first one to arrive, which, when you think about it, makes a lot more sense. The egg has a biological imperative to make the perfect match, just as we try to find the perfect partner. 8. People who have less sex overcompensate in their jobs. 
Now, this one may open your eyes if you're a single workaholic. Researchers at the University of Jinzhen in Germany found that people with an inactive sex life tend to do more work to compensate for their lack of fulfillment. The study asked 32,000 people to open up about their sex life and work habits. The results found that 36% of men and 35% of women who only had sex once a week would also work excessive hours at their jobs. The more work you have, the more stress you have, and the more stress you have, the less sex you have. 9. Cycles of light affect our fertility. Women used to menstruate during the new moon when it's dark at night and ovulate during a full moon when it's light. Now, in a world full of artificial lighting and bright screens, women are not as in tune with the connection between their biology and nature. Some have tried lunisensitization, altering the lights in their bedrooms based on the moonlighting to change their ovulation. 10. Women can get pregnant 5 to 8 days after having sex. Studies have shown that some sperm can live in the cervical mucus crypt before the egg is actually fertilized for anywhere from 5 to 8 days after sex. 11. Wearing high heels can negatively affect a woman's orgasm. Certain high-end shoe brands develop the arch in their high-heeled shoes to approximate the arch in a woman's pelvis when she is having an orgasm. The heels create a contraction in the pelvic floor, which is problematic because the pelvic floor then cannot contract further during orgasm. An orgasm is usually like going from 0 to 60, explains Fromberg. If you're already at 55 from wearing heels, you're not going to have a full experience. 12. Birth control pills dampen the libido, any hormonal contraception has that psychological side effect. Sometimes, women even have trouble conceiving once they're off the pill because while they may have been attracted to their partner on the pill, they're not actually compatible with each other biochemically without the extra hormones. 13. Sitting in chairs can arouse women. Pudendal nerves underneath the buttocks and the sitting bones feed arousal tissues in the vagina, clitoris, anus, etc. Sitting in a certain kind of chair and pressing on the pudendal nerves in a certain way can lead to sexual arousal. 14. But it can also dampen their orgasms. On the other hand, sitting in chairs for most of the day shortens the pelvic floor and pelvic organ support muscles, which are essential to a full-body orgasm. When these muscles are tight from sitting too much, women find it harder to achieve a great orgasm. 15. Women have three erogenous zones, the clitoris, the G-spot, and the opening of the cervix. Some argue nipples belong on that list too. 16. Like a snowflake, each woman is unique in that her nerve endings are distributed in her genitalia differently from anyone else. That means every woman needs to employ slightly different methods to achieve orgasm. 17. The pulsations a woman feels during orgasm are actually her uterus trying to gather sperm. Ligaments that end in the labia majora rock the uterus back and forth during orgasm so that the cervix has the opportunity to potentially scoop up sperm that may have pooled in the back of the vagina to enhance fertility, says Frumberg. 18. Being well hydrated leads to better orgasms because the body is mostly fluid. Being hydrated enhances people's ability to achieve orgasm. 19. All women can achieve orgasm, almost no woman was born unable to achieve an orgasm. Women have the innate machinery programmed to have orgasms, as Berg explains, but not everybody learns how to use that machinery. Is erectile dysfunction normal after 60? Erectile dysfunction ED, is a common disorder affecting millions of men. Because the prevalence of ED increases with age, many men wonder if the condition is normal after 60. The truth is that while age can be a factor, ED is not an inevitable side effect of growing older. Over 50% of all men struggle with ED at some point, but there's no doubt that ED becomes more common with age. For example, 40% of men over 40 experience ED, while that number rises to over 70% by age 70. Here's a look at some of the reasons why. Hormone changes, vascular changes and hypertension. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos.
Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.